So now that 2016 is over, it's time to start looking forward to some new movies coming out in 2017. We're gonna list my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2017. And I I'm just gonna put up a disclaimer, it'll take too long to say everything, so here you go. Just enjoy. We're good? Let's do this. Coming in at number 10 is... Justice League. Would it be higher on my list if Batman v Superman were good? Yeah, it would be. But I'm really apprehensive going into this movie, particularly because it's the same director that did Batman v Superman and Man of Steel. Arguably the reason that we're in this situation with DC to begin with. I have high hopes that this will... be... Ugh. Coming in at number 9 is... Denae Villeneuve has been doing some amazing work from Arrival to Enemy, Prisoners, Sicario. He's just on a roll, and I don't think he's made a bad movie yet. Taking on Blade Runner and doing the sequel starring Ryan Gosling and returning with Harrison Ford is just... It seems like a match made in heaven, and I am really excited to see Blade Runner 2049. Number 8. Spider-Man Homecoming is another one of those where I have a lot of high hopes for what we saw in Civil War with Spider-Man, but... At the end of the day, we still haven't really gotten the Spider-Man that we all know from the comics. It's looking to be that we are going to get that based on the trailers. It looks like we're getting that John Hughes awesome high school Spider-Man that we've been looking for. I hope it's going to be good. Number seven. Kingsman the Golden Circle is going to be the sequel to Kingsman the Secret Service, came out a couple years ago, and really stole the show for February. It was one of the best movies that came out that month, and it also became quickly one of my favorite movies of 2015. Number six. Logan is hopefully the best installment of the Wolverine trilogy. We've had one that's been... And then a sequel to that that was... With Logan, I'm hoping to be blown away. I want to see Wolverine and Hugh Jackman really sent off in the right way. He's been doing this character more than really any superhero actor has done their character. Maybe maybe Robert Downey Jr. has been Iron Man for a little bit less time than Hugh Jackman, but uh, Jackman clearly has been the one that's been around the longest. And to give him a proper send-off, to have the movie be rated R, it's, it's a perfect formula for a really good send-off that I hope happens. Number five. You can't have a top 10 for 2017 without putting in Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk, the new war film. There's not a lot to say about this movie other than it's a Christopher Nolan movie. He's one of my favorite directors of all time. Look at that, see? Number four. Guardians of the Galaxy was one of my favorite Marvel movies and still is actually one of my favorite Marvel movies ever made. It changed the game. It brought music in to make it amazing. It was a group of a property that really nobody knew and everybody was expecting it to fail. Talking Raccoon, big ass tree that talks. Like, a lot of mainstream audiences didn't really understand that, but they killed it with Guardians of the Galaxy and now they're returning with Guardians of the Galaxy Vol Volume 2, which looks twice as good, twice as many action pieces, twice as much character development, it looks like it's gonna really pay off and baby Groot. Number three. War of the Planet of the Apes. Yes! I've been waiting for this movie since Dawn came out. This may go down as one of the best trilogies ever made. There's not one movie in this franchise that I don't like, of the rebooted franchise actually, not the other ones. We don't talk about them anymore. There's a lot of conclusions happening this year, a lot of endings to trilogies. I don't know if anyone else is noticing this. Number two. Wonder Woman! Gal Gadot was simply one of the best parts of Batman v Superman, especially at the end when she came in in her full Wonder Woman costume and just kicked ass. Now DC has so many properties that I'm nervous about, that I, I really want to succeed. This is probably my number one priority, that I want this movie to succeed so much. From everything that we've seen in the trailers, Patty Jenkins, the director, think, I think she knows what she's doing. Every trailer has looked great. Gal Gadot looks great as Wonder Woman. I'm not nervous about her acting. I think she's gonna do a great job. And I'm just looking forward to see Wonder Woman finally on the big screen. We finally get to see it and that's incredible. If you haven't guessed what my number one is, well, that's weird. 
Star Wars Episode Eight, of course, is gonna be my number one. Why? What, what's gonna What's gonna beat that? Geostorm? Again, not much going into this. This is gonna be the Empire Strikes Back of the new trilogy. Ryan Johnson, the director of Looper and Brick, has been helming this film. He wrote the script for both episode 8 and episode 9. And it seems like this is going to be a really, really good in-depth look at our characters from episode 7. We're going to be able to delve into Kylo, to Rey, to Finn, Poe, and we're going to learn more about our new characters as they progress. And we're going to have possibly a big finale, much to the tune of Empire Strikes Back. I'm a big Star Wars fan. You guys can see all the lightsabers in the background here. I've, I've been a fan of Star Wars my entire life. And so seeing episode 8... Being able to see episode 8, knowing how good of a director Ryan Johnson is after seeing Looper and Brick. So yes, there were a lot of movies that didn't make it to my list, but you guys, if you looked at the list of 2017 films coming out, it's impossible to narrow it down to just 10. Uh, we'll see what happens to a lot of these. I'm really excited and looking forward to seeing them. Tell me what your top 10 is. Leave it down below. Tell me what movie you're most excited for. I want to tell you really quick though before I go, my resolution for you guys with the new year, I feel it's important for me to tell my fans and subscribers of the resolutions that I'm going to be having with you guys on this channel. Last year, I wasn't able to get as many reviews out as I had hoped, and there was a pretty huge gap between me coming back and doing reviews. And that needs to stop, and I, I'm going to stop that. We're going to be trying to do an upload every week, if not twice a week, and I really hope that you guys can see the progress being made through that. We're going to be doing more giveaways. We're going to be doing more than just digital downloads. We're going to be doing gift cards. We're going to be doing toys. But again, stay tuned. If you're new, please subscribe. We're going to be having a lot of fun in this channel, and I can't wait. 2017, let's do this.